Well, if it isn't the father of the year. You and your family have a nice time on Saturday? Good, good. Certainly seem like your son is having a nice time. Man, does that kid have an appetite for barbecue. <laughs> Can't remind me of you over at the end of the year pizza party. You know, when you took second helpings, I always tease you about that. I was watching a kid eating ribs and I thought, man, this kid really takes after his dad. <laughs> and I'm just Josh. He uh, seems like a good kid. Very talkative, very chatty. Told me all about his soccer team. No, not at all. I actually appreciated what he told me. He uh, mentioned that you pick him up and practice every day on the dot, 6 p.m. Yeah. Goes to Jefferson, right? What is that, 15, 20 minutes away? Right. So that means that you have to leave here latest uh, 5.40. Yeah. Curious. Do you see any issue with that? Hmm. Interesting. So you're saying because you come in at 6 a.m., you should be able to leave early. Let me ask you this. Have you ever heard of a company fire? You know, when you have a crisis? Well, have you heard of a crisis happening at 6 a.m.? Well, I haven't either. Historically speaking, company crises happen in the afternoon. Should I remind you of last Friday when my son almost lost the entire account? I'll have to remind you of that, right? What time did that happen? Around four, exactly. Thank God it happened at 4, because if it happened at 5, 5.30, you'd already be packing up to leave. And if you weren't here to help them, well, that wouldn't be good for anybody. You know what I mean? I need to have someone reliable at all times. Okay, so let's, let's figure this out, the whole picking up from soccer practice situation. Let's figure this out. All right. You're asking me how? You're the dad. That's for you to figure out. I'm not going to tell a man how to raise his family. 